So, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around um, and discussion about the fucking Puma up there, which we're building for the Afrikan. So this is Derek's Puma. It really is a heap of shite. Um, now, I wouldn't normally talk about customers' vehicle like that, but uh, this vehicle is really uh, a load of shite. Now, this vehicle here um, was dropped off to us from uh, Dilik, as I'll call him, the Afrikaan. Uh, and the purpose of this Puma, um, even though it's a sack of shit, is to serve its purpose as a, a mock-up vehicle. So, uh, Derek runs a company called Empire Motorsport. And the goal is, is to offer off-the-shelf turbo kit solutions for the Pumas, um, up to varying levels of power. Um, so that's our job here, is to build the turbo kits, create all the jigs uh, and mock-ups necessary and all the patterns and then be able to produce these kits at will for Derek. Now this vehicle came in with a turbo conversion when it was dropped off um, and I won't hesitate to say it was a pile of shite. And as you can see we've already started to mock up the new log manifold up there. So in the next episode we'll start to mock up the turbo position and finalise that and then I'll move on to the downpipe. Now these kits are going to be a bolt up, these kits are going to bolt up to the standard exhaust section which the joins just here. So we'll be able to offer you a hot parts kit in uh, a manifold and a downpipe. Uh, maybe possibly some intercooler and some intercooler tubing. So let's just get the vehicle down and uh, we'll have a peek under the engine bay. So this is the Puma's engine bay. We've actually got a load of room here. So we can just peek down the bottom there. We've got the log manifold half done. Um, now the purpose of the log manifold is meant to be a cheap, cheerful, affordable kit. You know, uh, you can pick up a Puma these days for two, three hundred pound. Um, you know, and the one point sevens in these, uh, you know, one hundred twenty-five horsepower out of the box. You know, they they really are a cheap and affordable uh, track toy. So. Uh, the idea of these turbo kits is they're going to be cheap, affordable, and we're going to get the power output up to about 180 200 horsepower. Um, we've also got some high performance in that manifold in the works for these. We're already in the process of having, having all them uh, parts machined uh, by a, a good friend of ours. Um, and then once the, the manifold's probably going to, be, going to be done first before we've actually finished the turbo conversion on it. So yeah, I'm keen to get these turbo kits done. I know Derek's been waiting uh, patiently for a long time to actually see some real progress on this. Um, so yeah, so we'll just quickly show you the, uh, the turbo that was fitted to the vehicle when it come, and you'll see what such a pile of shit it is. Yeah, and I see that's pointing up, um, nigh on six degrees up. You've got the oil feed into the side and you've got the oil drain also coming out of the side so uh, it's no real wonder why this turbo didn't last two minutes but obviously we're going to chuck this in the bin and improve on that uh, tenfold oh the pile of shite so yeah that was just a nice quick short video just giving you the, the, the down low on the puma here so uh, we're going to start progressing this on this over the next two or three weeks uh, we're going to wait until the inlet manifold parts arrive first so we can get that done first because it's the easiest part to do um, and then we'll get on to all the turbo side of things so if you want to see more progress on this consider subscribing liking share all that bullshit any questions you want to know about what we're doing with the puma just drop a comment down below um, so yeah thank you for watching uh, another janky episode by me we'll see you in the next one thank you for watching